Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi Battles. In this episode, we will be uh, using Sajin Park's World Championship Invitational Rental Team uh, on the ranked ladder as we go up and we get some practice using some different mons. In the last episode, uh, we ended our like four game win streak, which was very upsetting. Um, but it's all good. And in this episode, we'll obviously be using this team. I have never played with it. I have not even seen it in action um, very much. But uh, I look forward to using it because I think it's a pretty interesting team. And, uh, and I'm working on updating the one that we've been using to give it a little bit more spice. Um... So, I look forward to showing you guys that in the future, but for now we're going to be using some rental teams. Uh, we'll also be probably just experimenting with a couple different rental teams. We're going to use Sage and Parks for uh, uh, two episodes, I think. Then we're going to use the regional team, even though I hate seeing it. We're going to use it. Um, and then from there, I don't know, I'll just like look, pick a team and be like, this is the one we're going with. We'll probably use Ludwig's team at some point. Uh, we'll use, uh, like, the original Wolfie team. We'll we'll use a whole bunch of different things during this time period while I'm setting up the new team. Uh, but hopefully, hopefully we get a couple wins going. Hopefully we get back on a win streak. Uh, we are facing. Something very close to the, the regional team. Um, I really like Draco's ult in this match. I really like Whimsicott. I like Duraludon. I like Sogekiss. So let's just... Just lead this. Let's just... Yeah. No, this is a pretty good lead. Because, like... Well, I don't know anything about this team and how it plays. Um, the, like, Draco's ult hits like a truck. So, hopefully. Um, Grimstone Charizard. Okay. Well, Charizard's going to be dead as shit. Because he can't paralyze Draco's ult. Because uh, Draco's ult is an electric type. So we're going to go for Bolt Break into Charizard. We're going to set up a Tailwind. Uh, and we're going to hope we hit. And we are going to hope that we hit. I hope... I really hope he doesn't realize that you can't paralyze electric types. But we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. I really like Draco's ult. I'm probably going to make a Draco's ult team at some point. It's just... He's grown on me so much. He's so silly looking and I love him so much. Um, so we'll see. I'll come up with a couple couple ideas of, of for stuff and things. There's Max Zard immediate. I still feel like Bolt Beak might kill. There's the big, big man's big Gigazard. I just realized Gigazard is uh, asymmetrical. Oh, I hate that. I didn't realize Gigazard was asymmetrical. There's Fake Out. Oh! That's clever! That's really clever! Okay. That still does- <gasps> That still kills! Oh my god! Draco's ult is insane, dude! Uh, let's, let's go into Duraludon. Draco's ult is so strong! There's Conkeldur. Shiny Conkeldur. Neat. Um, 
Go for a Bolt Beak again and a Flash Cannon into Grimmsnarl. That should pick up the kill on Grimmsnarl. He's probably going to set a Reflect. He doesn't go for anything. Okay, and he lives. That's interesting. Citrus or Aguav or Figgy? Citrus, okay. Um, I apologize if you can hear that. I don't think you should be able to, but I apologize if you do. We're still gonna die because of wildfire. Ooh. Okay. Well. We've lost this game. Maybe. Maybe. Let's go for let's go for the dazzle. And then I think in a 1v1, because we have max, I think we could win. There's Thunder Wave. Eh... Maybe. That's a possibility. It's no longer a pos- yeah, okay. That does so much. Holy shit. Okay. Well. That's not great. Oh my god. This is a rental team. It plays off the same idea of the rent of uh, the the regional team. So that's pretty cool. Sucks that we're back in fucking tier 5 again. But I just want to get out of Pokeball tier, man. I don't want to be here. It's the wild, wild west. <laughs> and I'm fucking, like, suffering out here. That was a really good play by him. That immediately just fucked me over. The fact that I couldn't get Tailwind up. That immediately fucked everything up. Alright. I I like I like the Whimsicott Draco's ult lead again. I think I want Pissimian in the back this time instead of Togekiss. I think I want Pissimian in the back this time instead of Togekiss. I say clicking Togekiss. Alright. I think this should work. I think this should work pretty okay. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully this works. See what he see what he picks. In between games real quick here. What do you guys think about me using the rentals? If you guys don't want me to use rentals, I'll keep using my teams that I make, but they won't be able to be as interesting. And they probably won't be as thought out. That's why I'm using rental teams, but if you guys don't want me to, I won't. So just leave a comment down below if you uh, think I should be using rental teams or not. Alright, Blaine. Alright, Blaine. Let me, uh, clap you. Alright, he's in the rental team. People using rental teams on the ladder. M me, Lameo. Alright, let's set up our tailwinds. And... I really want an Earthquake, but I also want to just get rid of this Togi. I suspect Max. Yeah. Ah, uh, we can play around Max. Um... Max Togekiss? 
Okay. I don't know if Togekiss is living this bolt beak. It avoided. That's how it's gonna live the bolt beak. And a sash. Max Starfall into my Draco's ult. Draco's ult. Uh oh. Uh um. Togekiss is a problem. We have to go big now. I have to go big Duraludon. It's kind of upsetting, but at the same time, we'll be able to stall out a turn with that, and we'll go for Max Steel Spike into Togekiss. And hopefully Escajol targets me with, like, high horsepower, uh, which would benefit me a lot. Or if it goes for Earthquake, that would probably be better, because then it's spread damage, even though um, Togekiss and... Uh, myself are immune, or and my Whimsicott are immune. It's still spread damage, so that's cool. Hopefully, I protect off, stall another turn. Whimsicott being alive, we're faster anyway, so it's a slow Excadrill. Oh no, we have Tailwind up, that's what it is. Right, right, right. Right, 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 right. There's their weakness policy. Oh. There's Earthquake. That's going to be sickle spread damage. Which means it's going to do, like, nothing. Yeah. We get our weakness policy. There's Airstream. Breaking through that protect. Which is unfortunate, but... I still think we're faster, even if they're at plus one speed. I still believe that we are faster. And now we have Passimian out. Uh, and Passimian can go for uh, close combat into uh, the, the fuck, the fucking Excadrill. Will we pick up the kill on uh, Togekiss with a, uh, a flash cannon max move? There's Max Guard. Unfortunate. That's okay. That's his last turn of, of Max gone. Uh, Passimian should live this. Yeah. This Excadrill's very weak. There goes Excadrill. No more Excadrill. I think this is our last turn of Tailwind as well. So that might be an issue. I hope it's not an issue, but it might be. Hmm. Just wash. Okay, that's a problem. Because we don't have Thunderbolt on uh, Duraludon here. So let's go for the Iron Head into that. And... Wormwind into Wash. To be fair, we are at plus two, so I don't even know how much Wash is living this Wormwind, but it's not. Okay, well, that answers that question. Duraludon is busty strong. We should outspeed Ironhead. Just picks up another kill. Very good. Radon turning this game around for us. And there's our last turn of Tailwind. Okay. Well, that's an issue. And there's Snorlax. And we get small again. So it is just Snorlax versus the two of these mons. And Snorlax has no spread. Um, let's just... Let's just get rid of it. <laughs> Delete. Battle's canceled. Hey! First forfeit. Alright, let's do one more game with this rental team, and then that'll call it for this episode of uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi Battles. I don't know if I introduced this as... Um... Neo Y. 
I might have, and that's a problem. We're still at a 50% win rate where we are winning games and then immediately losing games. So that's really cool. I apologize for the loud noises. I did not intend for them to be picked up. But against Shrek 5, uh-oh. This is the Ludwig team. Okay. Well. I think... I want to lead this and... This? With Duraladon and... Let's bring Darmanitan this game. Rick Result and Whimsicott get to sit in the back. Unfortunately. That's a really zoomed in man's. Good job, Shrek 5 420. Okay. Butterfree Dusclops lead. That's okay. Do, 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 do. See the frisks. Wow, you get to see my stuff. Go for a knockoff into Dusclops, and we will flamethrower the Butterfree. There's Sleep Powder coming out into Togekiss. Okay, that's fine by me. We'll knock off that Eviolite. No Dusclops Eviolites. Togekiss is fast asleep. And there's the Trick Room. Okay. Mm so let's go for an Iron Head into the Dusclops. And we will, again, try to wake up and flamethrower the Butterfree. Wonder... Hmm. There's okay, Butterfree's gone. The Rhyperior. Imagine if I had Iron Head Rhyperior slot. Nightshade comes out into Passimian. Very cool. So let's really quick knock off the Rhyperior's item. And we will switch. Well, oh, no, I guess we have no point in switching this one. So let's just go for a yawn into the Rhyperior. We'll take away Rhyperior's um, weakness policy, hopefully. Please live. Damn. Please wake up, Togekiss. Yes. Get the yawn off. Very cool. And let's bring out Duraladon. We're going to go for a Protect with Duraladon. Uh, to try and stall out two turns of Trick Room. Okay. Go for a Protect here, and then we will use a Yawn into the Dusclops slot. Hmm. There's Nightshade, we protect. Oxide, we protect. And I avoided, and we get a yawn off, which means Rhyperior's going to sleep, which means it doesn't get a turn in Trick Room. And we can uh, go for a follow me to protect Duraladon from damage here. And then we will be out of Trick Room, which will be very, very helpful for us uh, today. Because I don't- this team really doesn't have an out to Trick Room, because it kind of came out right before Trick Room, like, shot up in the meta. 
Um, so that's like, it's a yikes, but it, yeah. But we'll see. Hopefully, we have enough of an out. And now we are no longer in Trick Room, and Dusclops is gone, which means he can't set Trick Room anymore. He does have Sun up. And Torkoal out. So we're gonna probably max Wormwind. We're gonna go for a follow me and max and we're going to do this and max Wormwind into Torkoal. And click follow me again on Toga Kiss so that we do not get put to sleep by Butterfree on Duraludon. This is the first time I'm recording this series early in the morning as well, so it's interesting to see the different teams. Uh, that when I'm recording in the morning compared to when I'm recording at night. So, peak. Big Draladon. Gonna follow me off. Okay, balance in that Wormwind in Torkoal gets chunked. Absolutely chunked. And we see a Sleep Powder come up for Butterfree into the Togekiss. That works for me. And then Eruption comes out. Eruption's going to do jack shit now. And now we can go for a, a max guard here. And we will switch into uh, Darmanitan. And then next turn we can click uh, Rock Slide. That way we still prevent Draladon from getting put to sleep. That's why I really wish we had um, Thunderbolt on this Duraludon. That way we could use, uh, that way we didn't need to use Max Guard there, right? Because I would have Max a Lightninged into, into one of these boys. Oh, and our Manitan hangs on with just half of its HP. And I can go for a Max Wormwind into Butterfree and a Rock Slide to kill both of these boys. Because our Manitan is very, very strong. Our Manitan is very, very strong. Bob. Torkoal's gone. Butterfree hangs on with its Sash, which is why we are Max Darknessing or Max Wormwind or whatever I clicked into Butterfree. And then we just have to deal with um, Rhyperior. So that'll be a fun time. And how we're going to deal with Rhyperior is we are going to switch um, back into Togekiss with uh, Ape. And then we can... Oh, Rhyperior's asleep. Well, that's really unfortunate for Rhyperior. We're gonna switch anyway into uh, Togekiss, and then we are going to uh, use. And if in case he wakes up and we don't kill with Flash Cannon, uh, which I think we will, he's going for Max. This will answer a question that I have: that if you're asleep, do you just immediately wake up when you die to Max? I think you do, but it'd still be good to know. It'd still be good to know. And either way, because we switched out, we now have the ability to change our move on um, the big lad. So that's cool. Okay, right, it stays asleep. Okay. That doesn't just immediately wake you up. That's pretty cool. So we can keep going for flash cannons and dazzles. Chonk. And we just need one more turn of sleep on Rhyperior. 
So our play here is to do this and follow me just in case it wakes up. And then we secure the game because we are faster. So we gotta follow me off and then we get to go for uh, a flash cannon. And in case he wakes up, uh, Duraladon won't get hit by a move because there's no spread moves when you max is only single target, which means uh, that we just get to win the game here. And that is what we call a GG. Big old GG's. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much for coming out and watching today's episode of uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi Battles. In the next episode, we will be continuing to Station Park's team. Hopefully we'll be able to use Drake results a little bit better. Uh, and then while I continue building uh, the next team. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.